everyone, it's Issa. Thank you so much for being back with me on my channel. Today, I'm coming at you with another outfit interview video. I'm at the Melrose Trading Post. It's actually my first time here. I've been doing a few of these outfit interview videos here in Los Angeles, and this is my third one. So if you haven't seen the other two, which are Melrose Avenue and Silver Lake, please do check those out. I'll be going up to people, maintaining six feet, wearing my mask because it still is COVID times and interviewing people on their style. I hope that this video is inspiring. I hope it's fun and interactive. I'm having just as much fun as you are watching this. Just to begin, I'm gonna break down my own outfit and what I have on today. It's very California weather, so I dress the part. After that, we'll get right on into the interviews. So please do keep watching and let's get started. For my outfit, I'm wearing a two-piece golf set from the early 2000s. I got it at a vintage shop in Palm Springs. I paired it with my Z-coils, some sterling silver jewelry, and this tattoo bracelet that's actually made from recycled tire. I finished off the look with a nice red lip. Okay. I have a little For Love and Lemons dress, and then these little boots are from Zara. I just paired it with little black booties. Made this little Nike mask out of a sock. Very easy, you just cut off the bottom and then cut little slits in the sides and then you can get like two masks out of it. So I have a little Prada bag, and then I have this little chain from, it's called GLD Jewelry, it's online. So they have like a bunch of chains, and it's more like menswear stuff, but I really like their chains. Sterling silver. These are little like Jesus, oh my God. <laughs> little dangly ones. I just have one in right now, but I got it from the fashion district in downtown. And then these are just little gold hoops. I think I honestly got them from like Amazon. Mm -hmm. These are from a little boutique in San Luis Obispo where it's a school. My Instagram is at Malia Sign, M-A-L-I-A-S-I-N-E. Oh, I also just launched a fashion brand, if you guys want to follow oh, yeah, that. Shout it's, that out too. It's called At Shop Her Fruit. Just launched that on the first, so you guys can check that out. I like started making Handmade vintage things. What's up? Um, I'm Daryl. So the hat is from a brand on Instagram. I think they're called lostlove.nyc. I don't really, I don't know sports, so I think it's Atlanta. You know, <laughs> this vest is also from Instagram. It's a UK brand called At Unknown London. These pants are from my mom's closet, and I'm pretty sure they're from Old Navy. I'm wearing just some Jaden platform sneakers from Doc Martens. This one, she kind of broke, but there's supposed to be a butterfly on here. I got this one from a flea market. Then this one is from Hard Jewelry on Instagram. Um, and then all my rings are from flea markets. And then I just got this one actually, it's so cute. Keep the Libra, because I'm a Libra. But yeah, there's my fit. My toe bag, dude, it's so sick. Look what it says. I was it says born an icon. It's from a brand called One of One, of one on Instagram. Social media is at Daryl Ben, D-A-R-Y-L-B-E-N. Thrifted vibes, simple vibes, my little brother's wife beater. Thrifted pants, Cute. just got this. <laughs> I love them paired with the sandals. Boa Lola, screen printed mommies. A thrifted shirt. Um, this is a crystal necklace I found at like an Egyptian shop. And then I have some misbehaved pants on. Nikes I thrifted at a store. I love how the pants shine. Lexi Smith, Lexi with two E's. Dead Solivas. The top I have on I actually made is called Off Top Socks and I make all of the tops from socks. And they're all one size. Made mm -hmm. these Oh cool! I got my pants at Urban Outfitters actually. Urban. Okay. And the socks is my boyfriend's brand, Tailored Socks. Um, pieces that I made myself. This is my so creation. Cool. My name's Eden Blue. I'm from LA, born and raised. Um, every day I just go outside and try to see what inspires me and I put this all together. All of these I put together, I've been it. collecting throughout LA. Like little Tokyo, go to downtown, find stuff here too, especially Melrose. These are like old motocross pants, yeah. old Skechers. Uh-huh, yeah, with that, the chunk too. Yeah, the chunk, because I don't like Balenciaga, so yeah, no, I like doing the knockoffs. I'm a tattoo artist as well. Cool. You can look me up on Eden Blue Craft on Instagram. I have all my tattoos. Writer too, Eden Blue Magazine if you ever, you know, looking around. I do a lot, I do a lot. I also make jewelry for Rihanna, for Vita Kush. It's all handmade in LA. That's beautiful. So I'm wearing three bands. Uh -huh. um, Dickies that I bought at a thrift store. Just a random shirt that I found this morning. And I got this jacket like a year ago from this 
place called Stay Cool on Instagram, and they dropped it. It was like, I forgot what the price was, but I really liked it, and it's my first time wearing it. So today's the debut, and yeah, that's about it. I was honestly kind of just threw this on because it was last minute. I liked it because this pops out, and then everything else just kind of stays neutral, you know? If you want to follow my Instagram, it's Enrique Garcia with three A's at the end. Um, don't really post anything. I like cars, so if you just want to know more about me, just follow me. Feeling a little bit sporty and active, um, so I went with my favorite little basketball bag. I Secret found this in like a small little um, boutique in Brooklyn, New York. Of course, I have the Fila top. Mm -hmm. Always got a sport for like athletic brands. I actually don't remember where I got the shorts, but then to finish it out on the bottom, um, this is actually a small um, black-owned design company called Norm NYC for the socks. And then the shoes are Calvin Klein Runway from 2018. These are Dolce & Gabbana from, um, I believe, 2010. I don't remember, though, exactly. We've got a shop Queer 2, and this is from um, Lockwood 51, which is a local queer brand in LA. Do you have an Instagram or anything you want to shout out? I do, yeah. It's Tyga, T-Y-G-A, dot 2000. Yeah, I got this top from Depop, and I thrifted the rest. Nice. I love the chunky shoes. Oh, thank you. They're actually ripoffs from AliExpress because I couldn't afford the real ones. This is actually from Spirit Halloween. Actually, um, I got this at a store in Laguna. And this is from Hot Topic. Oh, I'm, nice. I'm kind of a cheap person, so I just like, you know. And I made this bag. Oh, you did? Is yeah. it your own artwork though? Yeah, and I sewed the, um, I sewed it out of like whole curtains. Do you have a social media or anything? Selena Shu. Because my last name is XU. Okay. And everyone pronounces it Shu, so I just said the Shu. This is actually my friend's brand. It's called Dudo. It's a Malaysian brand, so every piece is hand dyed uniquely. So it's in a, it comes as a set. It's loungewear. You can wear it for home or for going out or to sleep. It's like really comfy and airy. Nice. Recommend it. And this is my Alexander Wang jacket. Simple, basic, comfy. These are just regular gold earrings. 18 karat. Quad shoes. They're kind of old, but. It's called friend? Dudo. D U D U K concept. Dudo means mm -hmm. to sit in Malay. Do you have any social media you want to promote? Luai Arif, L O U A Y A R I E F, on Instagram. Thank you. I'm wearing some uh, Nike off white blazers. These, uh, these vintage orange trousers I actually bought yesterday. Made in Italy. Very, uh, very vitamin C vibes. This shirt I actually bought here this morning in Melrose Trading Post. I was already wearing the pants, so I was like, you know what? Gotta make it happen. Very vintage inspired. Keep <laughs> cozy, fly, hopefully. This was a gift. This was handmade. I can't remember the maker's name, unfortunately. And uh, this one I actually made myself. This is the Eye of Horus. It's an Egyptian symbol. I actually, uh, I have my own brand. I run an upcycled rework brand called The Ancient Youth. It's uh, focused on sustainability. So everything is made from salvage materials and garments. There's no need to be putting anything new into the system, which is why everything I'm wearing has been thrifted, mm -hmm. except for the shoes, of mm -hmm. course. Personal Instagram is Weave Poncho. I'm wearing my cowboy fit. Uh, I'm from Piedmont, Oklahoma, which is a farm town. So I always like to wear my Western Pearl Snaps, my vintage cowboy boots, and my vintage Wranglers. I have the turquoise rings as well. Bandana is made by my best friend who has a booth here, Lucky Bastard. It's a uh, gentleman's apothecary company. He also made these rings. And the glasses is a brand called Crap, Crap Eyewear. Uh, Thunder Jackson, I'm a musician, so yeah. Go look it up. Yeah. I just like wear stuff that like is really colorful, kind of inspired by Harry Styles, that kind of thing. Um, and I used to wear like really basic stuff, but I just moved to LA. I had like wide legged pants, like small waist stuff, and like just cool stuff like pearls, that kind of thing. I just buy, do a lot of online shopping, which is why I'm here, because I like to like kind of go thrift shopping too. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it is thrift, a lot of it is online. This one I made. Online, yeah, everything online. Were you feeling very green today? Very, yeah. <laughs> I am Alexandre, uh, which is basically Alexander, but the R and the E are inversed. Underscore, 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 A. Four underscores, and then A. Thank you. What are you wearing? I got Marina Serra's sweats, ribs, and I got, I got this from Japan, and this is called Ikumi. 
This is writing about Ikumi's t-shirt. I forgot the brand's name, but this is I got recently. It's kind of work wear and it's kind of comfortable because it's not it's not so narrow and it's wide. I'm wearing the Converse. I chose the navy one because the navy one matches a lot of wear. Mm-hmm. I like that. I actually got this Bidaku shoe, which is over there. I also got this market too. I love your nails. Thank I saw you, those yeah. too. Really cute. It's my favorite one. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I have Instagram, okay. which is called uh, I am on number three on the verse in MM. This concludes my video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you were inspired by people's style and outfits here at the Melrose Trading Post in Los Angeles. I think it was a very successful outfit interview video. I got some eclectic style and I'm really happy to have shared it with all of you all on here. If you like these types of videos, I do plan on doing more. So please do like and subscribe down below for more content from me. I hope you're having a wonderful day. You're styled up, feeling confident. And I do look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.